We know three bills are making their way through the state legislature hoping to improve sex education in Oklahoma. News 9's Grant Herms joins us now with what these bills would do and why they could mean big changes for Oklahoma students. Grant, good morning. Lacey Rahman, good morning. Oklahoma does not require sex ed in schools, and what is offered across the state is usually far from expert considered comprehensive. So the goal of these bills is in some cases to bring Oklahoma's sex ed into the 21st century. The first bill is SB 926. It would require students to learn about things like consent and sexual assault in their health classes. That bill made it out of committee and is now headed to the Senate floor. Next is SB 50, requiring schools to require parents and students grades 6 through 12 to have an annual conversation conversation about things like sex, health, and pos positive body images. The third bill is House Bill 1018. It's aimed at updating Oklahoma's HIV and AIDS curriculum. Much of what's being taught right now in schools hasn't changed since the 1980s. That bill made its way through the House and is now on its way to the Senate. Oklahoma routinely ranks among the worst states for teen birth rates, STI rates, and is one of 10 states considered by the federal government to be in an HIV epidemic, which is why advocates say now may be a crucial time to get new courses into school schools to make sure students stay healthy. We owe it to our kids, we owe it to our um, future adults and our young adults uh, to give them the information that they need to take control of their future and to keep themselves safe. Each of these bills has been run and voted down before or discussed but never run in general. Advocates are optimistic that these bills will become a part of Oklahoma's new set of laws after this session. At the Capitol, Grant Herms, Oklahoma's own News 9.